you should you should have it's what in your hand when you touch your hot pot. A, a towel. A towel. When I went to uh, Goodwill and I <laughs> let them know that I was working yes. but it wasn't exactly what I wanted to do for the rest of my life and they said well what do you want to do for the rest of your life and I told them I wanted to be a chef and they were like are you kidding me? I was like why what's going on and they said uh, that um, they had a vet to chef program going on and I asked them what it was and they explained it to me and I said are you kidding me? Like that pretty much sounds like my dream job in a, nut jo in a nutshell. We've added no salt to the dish. Huh. It's a lot saltier than it was. Right. Because we're reducing it. Well, we, we put salt in the stock. We spend all this money going in the military to train and educate, you know, you know, young people to act a certain way, to walk a certain way, to carry themselves a certain way. Yet we don't retrain the mind or the body to act as a civilian again. Very difficult to uh, transfer into his civilian lifestyle again. I was uh, yeah, very yeah, yeah, scared, kind of nervous. Uh, it that was that really hard finding a job oven, and so having the experience I had in the military and not being able to find a job was actually very disappointing and yeah. you know, very heartbreaking and it was really hard on me. You know, I kind of vowed to make sure that not another you know, veteran on my watch takes their life. Not another veteran is walking around aimlessly without answers, without help, without support, without their brothers.